Hello guys and welcome in the seventh episode. In this episode we will implement our main menu scene and add the sliding effect to our bottoms. Let's open our project, go to the scene folder and then right click create scene. Let's name it main menu. Let's open the scene. Okay, first of all we have to remove this skybox, go to the window, lighting, settings, on the skybox material just press this small dot and choose none, ok, we can close this window, ok, first of all let's set the camera type, just click on the main camera and set the projection to orthographic, then switch to the scene tab and we will add some background, uh, just press the resource folder and drag and drop the background to the scene. Set position to zero. Zero, zero. Go back to the main camera and make sure the position on the Y is zero as well. Okay, go back to the background and we will rescale it on the X axis uh, to match this re rectangle. I will set it to zero, five. Let's add some buttons now. Uh, I will create a game, empty game object, go to the game object, create empty, I will name it play button. ok, let's go to the button folder, just find the button backline and drag and drop under the play button and then we find the play button graphic and drag and drop it under the play button as well. Let's position now uh, the backline, just click on it. I will set the position y to 3.6, uh, z to be 0 and x to be minus 0 0.2 and then I will set the scale on the y to be 0 0.8 to be a little bit smaller. Uh, press on the play button now, let's set position to, to be the same, 3.6 and then minus 2.2 and then the z will be one, will be minus 1 this will make sure the position the position of this button is always in the front of this backline let's add another button game object create empty i will name this one settings button okay is we doing the same just First of all, backline, and then we find the setting bo button. Let's position the back button, uh, the backline. I will set the position to 0 0.4, and then the X position to minus 0 0.2, and then Z to 0 and we, I will rescale it on the Y to 0 0.8 to be exactly the same as the as the previous one and then uh, click on the setting button and set the position minus 1.8 0 0.4 and then minus 1 uh, I will add another button uh, just go to the game object create empty and then I will add about button. Okay, we're doing exactly the same. First of all, the backline, and then the about button. Okay, let's set the position for the backline. The y position will be minus 0, 0 0.2. Uh, sorry, the x position. The y position will be minus 1.6. OK, the Z position will be 0 and then the Y scale will be 0 0.8 OK, and then the About button, the position will be minus 1.6 and then Y will be minus 1.6 and then the Z will be minus 1 the X will be minus 1 point, minus 1 point Eight, the same as the setting button. 
okay and then uh, the last button which we'll add is the exit button go to the game object create empty and then name it exit button and we're doing the same first of all backline and then the exit button okay uh, let's reposition all of them a little bit just uh, press on the setting button and then change the y coordinate to move it a little bit up and then press on the about button move it a little bit up as well and press on the exit button and move it down okay let's for the exit button let's set the scale for the for the back line to be 0 0.8 the position on x will be minus 0 0.2 to be exactly the same as the previous one and then on the exit button let's set the position to be minus 2.2 the y position will be exactly as it is now minus 0 0.351 and then the z order will be minus 1 the back button z order will be 0 we have everything set i think let's see how it looks like i think it looks all right okay now we will have to implement the sliding effect we, we will have to add uh, one script. Just go to the script folder, create new script, and then I will name the script the, script the buttons. Okay, let's open it. The first thing which we will do, we will create a few public variables. Uh, the first one will be public string. Uh, scene name this is gonna be the name of our scene which we want to load after the sliding effect has finished uh, the next one will be public float final exposition this is gonna be final this is gonna be the value of the exposition where we want our boot up to stop and then uh, the next one will be private vector three final position final position this is going to be our the final position of the button and then the private float move speed and we set it to 7.0 f and this is going to be our the, the the speed how fast the button will be updating the button's position will be updating okay uh, the next thing uh, we will call the on mouse down function uh, let's let's do it void on mouse down and then over here we will set the end position sorry the final position to be equal to new vector 3 the first value will be the final x position which will be set from the inspector the second one will be the current y position because we want to update only the bottom x position the y and the z position will be stay the same transform position dot y and then transform position dot z okay and then we will create another function which will be returning type enumerator okay and um, I will call it move to position move to position and then I will pass the vector 3 target position This function will be actually called the uh, inside the coroutine. Let's do the while loop. While transform dot position is is not equal to the target to target position. Then we wanna update the transform dot position to be equal to 
vector three dot move move towards transform dot position which is the current position the target position will be the target position and then the max distance delta and then we will pass this uh, move move speed times time dot delta delta time and then semicolon okay and then yield return zero inside the update function we will call the if transform dot position is equal to final final position then we will load the wanted scene which the name we specify inside the inspector uh, okay but to do that we have to use the using unity unity engine dot scene scene management and then we will call the scene manager dot load scene and then we will pass the scene name which we specify there because for the exit button we just wanted to close the application um, to do that I think what we'll do we will check if the scene name over here if the scene name is equal to exit Uh, maybe we check the object name if the game object dot name is equal to exit then we want our application to close application dot quit okay this function will close the the, the application straight away after we press the button okay and then uh, i think uh, over here is needed like a little bit explanation uh, just we have to do one more thing we have to initialize the final position with some values let's do it uh, final position right at the beginning in the start function the final position will be equal to the final x position as this one will be set from the inspector position y and position z and we make sure that the final position is actually set to the right thing we will set it again here and then one more thing which we have to call inside the mouse down uh, we will need to start the coroutine uh, is the function which we call is start coroutine and then we will pass the enumerator routine which in our case is move to position and then move to position is taking one position which is the final position okay okay i think we can save it now let's close it and then what we have to do is we have to attach this button to every single button in the scene okay let's uh, do that for the play just drag and drop and then from the play we want to load the the menu select okay and then final position for the for the play will be we want to move i think 1.68 will be fine 1.68 okay uh, for the settings let's do the same just drag and drop and then for the settings we don't have any scene yet uh, created um, just we're not gonna put anything here but the final position for the setting will be 1.23 1.23 okay uh, one point two three then for about 
we don't have any scene created yet for this button, but 1.2, I think 1.23 will be the same as for the settings, 1.23, and for the exit, I think the, the, because the button is the same size as the as the play button, uh, we will we will spe 1.6, we'll specify 1.68. Um, just drag and drop the script, 1.68, okay. And then let's uh, add this scene to the build. Uh, go to the file menu, build settings, and then press the add open scenes. Okay. Let's test it. Press play. When we press on the play button, okay, there is one more thing which uh, I forgot to add. Each of the button should have the box collider. Has been pr press on the play button, add component, and then type box and choose the box collider. Okay, and we have to do for every single button. Just make sure every single one have a box collider. Otherwise, the the collision won't be the the Unity will not know if we actually press on the bottom or not. Okay, let's let's test it again. When we press now, you see the button has updated, but I think the end position was a little bit. It stops here. Just let's change this. Uh, adjust the end position a little bit more. Mm, let's try two. Okay, two will be fine. Let's set two for the exit as well. And let's test the settings and about. Setting and about. I think we have to put a little bit more. If you like this look, you can leave it like that. It doesn't really matter. I want the button to go to the end. The exit button won't work inside the editor. You have to actually build a game to be able to test if the application is closed or not. We're going to do that in the next episode. Okay, let's, um, let's increase the the end position, I think I will put 1.6 maybe. Okay, it looks alright now. I think everything is lined up properly. And when we press play, we are loading the menu select scene. We have to do, do the same for the back button. Let's do it now. Okay. Uh, let's open the menu select scene, save this scene, and then uh, find the back button, go to the back, add the box collider to it, and then go to the scripts, drag and drop the back button. The scene name will be, we wanna, when we press the back button, we want to go to the main, me main menu. Main menu. And the end position for the back button will be 8.7. Let's press Ctrl Z first to move this button in the previous position. Okay. Yep. We're just going back to the scene. We have to do the same for the menu select 2. Just double check is 8.7. Save the scene and then back button. First of all, box collider scripts button 8.7. Main menu. Okay, when we go, I think everything seems to work now. We can load the, the scene and everything is fine. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we will start to implement the mixing of this of this puzzle. Right at the beginning, you, we will implement the in-game in menu with the sliding effect. And then when you press the start button, all of the puzzle will be mixed up.
Okay, thank you guys for watching and see you again in the next episode. Thank you.